Sun, the Sun, Sun, the Sun, Sun, the Sun, Sun, the Sun. Hello, guys. It is me, the one and only, Orange Do Not Leave. Probably not. I cloned myself a couple of years ago. It might still be running around here, but if it is, the first and ever on the lot room. So this video is kind of, I think, a retake or second part of I am a feminist part this. I am a feminist part this. Let's do this. Now, I have been a feminist for about, I think, a year? A year. I have not always been a feminist. Let's say I've been very homophobic, I would say, you know, transphobic, a little bit of um, sexist. I don't know how, but I have been. But once I became, you know, went into ninth grade, I came very mature, just like automatically right after graduation. They're like, oh, now you're not going to boom, mature. I, I, I was amazing. Thank you. And I just saw, like, a lot of things I've been saying, you know, I saw a lot of things gay, and which is really stupid, but I did it, and it's done. There's nothing to that. There's nothing to that. And yes, I am a feminist. But shh, shh, don't worry. I'm not going to come and try to assassinate you while you're sleeping. I promise. I might. But it's not because you're a boy. It's because I literally hate you. I hate everybody. Don't be bad. And, it's, and I'm not a ton of feminist. I... I promise you I'm not Tumblr feminist. And if you don't know what a Tumblr feminist and if you've never been on Tumblr, start getting on Tumblr and look at all the feminists. Um, they're man hating, they say they kinda of make everything about, you know, really stupid things like, Oh, I love pickles. They're so great. Oh yeah, you love pickles. All men like pickles. Only men like pickles. You know, if you were there, you would like pickles. I like, I like pickles. I, okay. You know, you're right. I must be a man if I like pickles. They just do really stupid things, you know, to say really stupid things. And now all people think that being a feminist is man-hating. And it's not. It's not about that. It's about wanting equality and wanting everybody to be equal. If you're a man, a woman, not a dolphin, because no. Rama, absolutely Rama. You just want everything to be equal, you want equal pay, you want equal rights, you just want everything to be equal. I'm not going to answer this video. <laughs> the number one thing that really gets under my skin is probably the dress code at school. And I haven't really realized this even throughout life until about like seventh grade, I think, is when it was really hot outside. I mean, it was burnt. like boys just had like these little t shirts on and shirts and everything on. And I wanted to wear like a spaghetti strap, and they were like, no, put on a jacket. I'm like, it's hot. I can't do it. I was sweating so much when I had my jacket. I remember graduation, eighth grade graduation, when I was about to go to high school. and you know, this girl, she had this nice dress on. It was beautiful. It was hot outside. You were sweating to the, the forest. I had a shirt on, which was like a light blue. And when you wear light colors, when it's hot, you sweat and you can see it. So you thought, don't, don't, don't do it. And you could see the sweat just all, it was everywhere. Because you couldn't wear, <laughs> you can't just wear it. You have to wear a jacket on, they said. They said it. And she had this nice strapless dress on, and then it was like the end of the year. You know, it was the last day of school. Everybody got to leave. And she went, she got in trouble. She, she was done. Her whole, whole life was done. It's just done. It's dying. <laughs> this code is just like the stupidest thing, I just think. I remember when I was in the fifth grade, and I didn't know really much about anything, you know. I wasn't really thinking about, you know. Um, homophobia or racism or sexism or anything like that. I was just, I was in fifth grade. I was just like, ooh, yes, recess and I don't know, candy. I don't know what I was thinking about fifth grade, but I wasn't thinking about all that. And I remember that um, I was wearing, it was like kind of this connected romper and it was kind of short, but it was not short. I'm pretty sure it was like, like the rule is that it has to be arms length. So when you put your arms down, 
and then to your fingertips, your short has to be, you know, that long. I'm pretty sure it was like that. I'm like 50 percent short. It was like that. So I was walking in the hallway, and this teacher or the principal, I can't remember, it's okay, came up and was just like, oh, the shorts are too short. And right as he was saying that, this girl walked by with the shortest shorts on that you have ever seen. Oh, ah, ah, what about her? What? What? He didn't even acknowledge her. She was she was non-existent to him. He was all focused on me, which my shorts was not even that short. They were pretty much Capri. Might as well have been Capri, but he was focused on my shorts. And he walked in here with non-existent pants. Like, they weren't even there. They were like, were they even shorts? Or was she wearing her underwear to school? Because I don't even know. But she walked past, and then I still got in trouble. And we changed. And I was so mad. I was so, like, what even is this? What even is this? What is it? I know. I am a feminist because rape culture, rape culture, rape culture. Some people don't believe that it's real. Other people do. I believe that it's 100% real. Because off the bat, just let's start with that. Why, when a girl is raped, that they always ask, what was she wearing? That just annoys me so much. And if that's the number one question you want to ask, why don't you ask yourself a question? Why does it matter? Does it really matter that much? If I'm walking out here in nothing but like my bra and underwear, it probably won't do that. It's like below zero. But if I wanted to read to that, I would. Okay? And that shouldn't mean that it, that anybody can just you know, up and have sex with me. It does not mean that. I mean, if you want to look, look, but do not touch. No, that's it. Do the thank you. And another thing that I hate is that I am clothes oppressed. I can't even wear what I want without looking like a slut. If you want a skirt too short, you automatically slut. It doesn't matter how many guys you slept with. It doesn't matter if you're a virgin or if you've done the whole football team. You wear a skirt too short, wear shorts too short, wear a crop top, anything like that, you're a slut. It just automatically, it just automatically like look up in the dictionary and you look at the word slut. What does it say? A girl who wears short clothes. Wrong. A girl who has way too many sexual partners, which you can't just tell how many sexual partners a person has just by looking at what they wear, right? Right. I am a feminist because boys still think that they're still dominant to us. You know, we're not allowed to do anything that's remotely masculine. If we do, we're too much of a man for them. If we know how to lift a weight better than a than the man, then he doesn't want us. We're too, we're too strong for them. You know, we can be construction workers or be a boss of a really successful company because that's a man's job, if you didn't know. We don't know how to open up jars correctly because only men can because we're the strong ones in the relationship. And he has to wear the pants in the relationship because he's the man. He has to make more money than you because he's the man. He has to put the bacon on the table because he is the man. And if you make more money than him, his whole manhood is just crushed and you'll get made fun of for some reason and i don't even know why i guess being a man in a relationship is kind of being the strong one see if you cry you're a pussy so don't do that because you're going to be the girl in the relationship if your girl drives a better car than you makes more money than you or can just play video games better than you lift more than you or has a better job than you don't even come back to a relationship because you are done you are no longer the man in a relationship she wears a pants in a relationship now I guess so. Feminism is an empowerment that every girl should want. And because of some people who think that feminism is about hating men and wanting to destroy all men and girl, it is girl power, but you know, girl power, kill all men. They don't think that they should be feminist. And being feminist is stupid. And being a feminist is really kick ass with you every girl should be feminist and when you're not feminist i just think it's kind of crazy because we are fighting for equal rights for you but you just think it's we all hate men i guess and we should all be empowering each other and just feel like we are all equal and we all could do everything we want if you are a guy and you want to go out and get your nails done if you're a girl and you want to go to the gym and lift 18 weeks at once you do you if you want to work at a construction site and you're a woman you do that if you're a man and you want to work at a fashion industry you do you but in society you can't it's going to take a couple 
millennium for us to get in that zone where we're all equal, no matter what race, no matter what gender, no matter what your preference is. But until that time, let's go eat. Bye-bye. <laughs>